What is going on, guys? Today, going? we are here with Rive Genesis, my co host, Fant MX. <laughs> I got Fant MX down. <laughs> and Chibi of the Golden Feather, where Rive and I are going to interrogate them to get all of the PI stuff that they don't want to tell us. What was the process of the test day one through six? Was it basically exactly the same, different a little bit each time? It's, it was very simple, right? They give us times. They say we're going to test uh, typically three hours. The, the final one was, what, six? Yeah, six. Uh, and it's a, it was straightforward each way. You, you, uh, they, they'll say server up, create a character, log in, run to, what was his name? Guy something. Guy Fieri. Yes. Um, get your gear, <laughs> get your level up, uh, take the portal to either Winstead, Mirrorleth, whichever one you're on, and then you would get to the camp, they'd start the war, and you'd test. Uh, pretty much the same way every time. Talked about Were that. you always at uh, Mirrorleth or Winstead? For like, at the start, was it always Mirrorleth or Winstead, or was there any other nodes involved? Winstead, Mirrorleth. Those were what you saw is what we, what we tested. Gotcha. Which uh, node we were given was sometimes swapped. Um, yeah. Like, on the occasion. Um, they would just try to swap up the teams to see, you know, um, if changing up teams affected anything. Mm -hmm. um, if like one team was really well optimized, how would what would happen if we divided and conquered that team amongst the other team? So um, what you're telling me is Steven kept losing, so he wanted to bring players <laughs> onto his team so he had a chance to win it. <laughs> Steven, he was in Test Six, but he wasn't really in. I feel like he others. really just followed us around. Yeah, he was in. He was just kind of like hanging out. But I think Chibi and I, we were only on the same team probably once. So we, we were probably at this point mortal enemies. Uh, so <laughs> we talked a little Phantom that basically at the start, there were like I heard from other PI and other people in Discord saying that the servers were terrible in the beginning. And like you said, memory leaks and all mm -hmm. sort of things. Um, how did that get better throughout the testing? Like, did they, was it like, was the testing spread out like, so there's days in between, hours in between, and how fast did they respond to these fixes? And like, were you seeing changes in test two, or did it take to like test five or six? And how was it at the end? I mean, I got shot of six tests. I'd say the first two or three were probably rough. Uh, the first was the roughest. Um, they were. I guess we probably did what uh, one or one to two a week. Um, you know, they weren't hours apart, so there was certainly plenty of time to go back, look at whatever data they gathered, and, and make changes. Uh, one to six was night and day for me. I mean, absolutely night yeah. and day. Uh, you know, I, actually, the only time, and this includes fighting around the God Spike, which, as you saw, gets very chaotic. Um, <laughs> a lot of spell effects still that probably need to be played around with. So a lot of visuals, a lot of people. Then you have dragons dive bombing you. All of that, the only time I actually really had any issues was upon respawn. So uh, when I would log back into or respawn into our camp, uh, there was a little bit of a delay in putting me back in the world. Like no big FPS drops, no rubber banding mm -mm. that I noticed? Oh no. no, not for me. No, same here. I think uh, there was definitely initially for like the first few tests, there was like a very obvious slowdown with the world around me as like the client or the server was struggling to deal with everything happening at the same time um but as we went along that became less and less apparent um it was very easy it's better smooth kind of backtracking a little bit brian dance in chat said i wonder what kind of pcs everyone had and because the fps seemed pretty good i know we talked about earlier the stability and how you guys thought it ran smooth but what are you guys rocking for gpus and cpus I had to write this down because this question came up so many times. <laughs> I just oh, have a, I, I have a oh, 4060, uh, 4060 for a big video card and then a 7950 AMD uh, CPU. So yeah. I do have a lot of RAM too, a lot of memory. Fupo said he was getting 100 plus FPS even in the large fights and he was running everything on Ultra with optimized shadows. Um, and, and the shadows are so good. He added that too. And I believe he said, <laughs> did he say 4090? I can't remember. I can't find it. I think it. he had three different rigs. But yeah, there's a couple of different rigs you listed out there. Oh, 7800X3D. Yeah, he's got the AMD GPUs. 
That first day was wild though, because you had this monster memory leak, there were some server issues, um, and then also the tank wall, that dang tank wall initially had a stun. So when you had everyone around, it was just like, am I stunned? Is the server lagging? Is my computer dying? Like I, right. you would spend 20, 30 seconds just like there. That, that got yeah. quickly, uh, quickly changed. So you guys were clerics. Um, compared to what we've seen as clerics, or battle priest, whatever you want to call a phantom. Mm -hmm. um, compared to the cleric priest. <laughs> he made that up, didn't he? <laughs> He's made that up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course I did. <laughs> you initially said that, and my mind went to, like, the class augment. And I'm like, oh, are those in already? And then I thought about it. Like, no, he's just... No. <laughs> no, but this is the beauty of how complex this is going to be, right? That was... And I feel like, I really felt like how Chibi and I played were very different. Um, and both yeah. very effective. And that was just with skills and placeholder armor. Like... Yep. That's not enchants. That's not augments. That's not any of that. And you zoom out and you see the little mini desert in the corner. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what, what is that mini All desert, right. Phantom? What is it? I don't did you go? Did you go to the mini I, desert? I, that's that a great question. question. Uh, that's a great question. I did um, not test the that. The environments in which we were uh, placed did not include a desert. <laughs> You can, like, stand just up on top on of a stream. tower in the node to just try to look out <laughs> over the mountains and see the desert. Amazing how creative people are. I, I saw people actively, like, cutting out snippets of the screen and trying to, alt like, rotate it so to find the desert on the map that we know exists and where were we. And No, we did not test anything desert-related. We'll get so back to that. a cleric question, but I don't remember. Yeah, but now you're talking about the desert and you got me going, and I'm like, oh, what does he know about that desert area? What can I get out of him? Nothing. Nothing. But, um, yeah, so the cleric. So we saw the cleric, like, a year-ish ago. That was a little less than a year. Or maybe it was a little more than a year. I don't even remember now. I think it was both. But the cleric that we saw in the showcase, where they're going through Oak and Bank Keep, how similar is it to the cleric you played? Was there a lot of different skills since that showcase? Was it pretty much the same class kit that we'd seen before? Yeah, they're not throwing any surprises. I mean, everything the kit that, that was last seen is, as far as I'm aware, I mean, I, there certainly are some things. You can go on the wiki and see there are certainly some Alpha 1 spells that are no longer listed under Alpha 2. Uh, and what was, oh, there was one, I forget the name of it, that everyone always asks about. Uh, castigation. Like, that's yeah. that's not something we have access to. Um, but. And the reasoning for that was like that I heard from Fupo and other community moderators are that there's a lot of things they had to lock down to keep it as stable as possible. Going back to the whole point of not um, mm -hmm. customizing your character, right? It was a highly curated <laughs> test. I think that's what's important yeah. for everyone. We're, we're not trying to be like assholes or ignore questions. The honest answer is a lot of these things that were asked, we just don't know because that's not a part of what we tested yeah. and I, I can understand why the question would be asked probably in any other alpha that you had access to where you could just log in and run around for five hours it's probably things you would test probably things you would look at mm -hmm. uh 80 80 80 was the first question that i was asked by narc like <laughs> you know those sorts of things That's that you would do yeah um but this this was this these are very 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 curated and and like chibi said like there are restrictions on character creation and um, don't talk to that NPC. Don't talk to you know. Don't go here. Don't go. Don't touch that. Um, just trying to keep it all consistent as possible because we had a singular purpose, which was testing Node Wars. Yeah. Yes, everything yeah. else was around us. Yes, I could go chop trees. Yes, I could mine rocks. That's not the purpose of why we were there. So, okay. oh. since you guys both played cleric, um, how was the mana management? Because I kept seeing like people. Uh, one of the clerics, I think it was Planendorf, constantly cast, uh, casting that mana channel spell to try to get his mana back. Or I don't know if that was giving him mana back or giving other people mana because it looked like he had full mana when he was casting that. And I saw people sitting down to get their mana back. I think DA said that people would just die so they could respawn and have mana again. What is? Do you think that was just a consequence of being level 15? Do you think that was because there's no bard? Do you think it's because there's not enough mana regen from utilities um what do you think the mana management might have been a little rough and between because you guys played two different cleric builds which one would you say was better the the battle bard or the battle cleric or the uh regular battle kind of battle priest battle priest yeah or the uh 
Chibi kind of played a traditional caster cleric. Which one would you say was better with mana? Uh, globally, just in general, the first couple of tests were super rough uh, for me. Like okay. it was um, constant running out. Now, whether that was something that was just got changed later, because that was my feedback. And now I will say some other people that played cleric didn't necessarily feel as strongly as I did. Um, so it could have been user error. You know, I primarily relied on blessed weapon uh, for mana regen, so certainly I could have been using that wrong the first time. What's that um, again? Uh, it's just a, a buff, uh, radiant damage on hit, and also restores mana. Um, gotcha. So uh, if you I did back into that augment, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that was my primary method of mana regen. Um, you know, it's it it got much better by test probably four or five and six now whether that was me just learning the class better i i i don't know i did still have to sit uh semi-regularly and you didn't sit for long but you did you know i did still have to sit um the bard i imagine and we did not get to test the bard but but knowing bards right. for what they are is sort of the wild card here to really understand if man is an issue or not now i also I also specced like my armor so so part of what a lot part of why i could go up to the front line and not sit in the back line is you know picking the shield picking picking different armor pieces um now i i did trade and it was a conscious trade-off but i traded off mana pool mana regen for things you know that were more physical damage or more more stamp uh, health related so i also had kind of a gimped mana pool from that so for me I don't know. I actually specced into one of the options is to have a trade-off where um, when you're healing people, you gain divine power and then you can swap to divine power as your resource instead of mana. So uh, for the most part, I actually didn't really find that I had too much mana issues unless I was doing the oh shit healing. Yeah. <laughs> but Ryan, I mean, what are you even doing? Then, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck a hype train is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. Hey, I'm going to ask Jamie. Well, thank you. Chat. I appreciate it. Jamie probably knows. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I did not use that probably as well as I should have. Um, at times I would spec into it. At times I would not. Um, I probably, would, uh, now that you mentioned that, um, probably definitely could have benefited from that. Um, you really have to make tough choices uh, depending on what you're yeah. wanting to do. All of your the skills you pick actually do matter. And I I know you guys didn't level a character at this point, but like, did it seem like it was like you're level 15? You got 15 skill points. I know Steven said it's eventually going to be like a quarter of a level. You get another point or something along those lines. Like, how many points did you have to invest into this tree at 15? I don't know. I was just clicking. <laughs> Is it 14? <laughs> I want to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we couldn't cover all of the skills, so... Right. Vertex is 14. Yeah. yeah, I'd say 14. Okay. One, one per level <laughs> after one. Since you guys were clerics, what was their damage like? Because I know in Alpha 1, like, clerics were Greek gods, right? You couldn't... They were taking 1v7, you know? They had they had great damage. They had tons of healing, obviously. And just to give you an idea, so so I'm not... I wasn't necessarily out there. I mean, I was not at the level of a fighter or, some, you know, somebody else front line, but... It's, it is more of the assist, the support, uh, the heals that you still get to do. Because uh, I had specced into largely AoE heals. Um, just so that I didn't have to sort of back and forth. Because uh, I was using tab targeting, uh, going back and forth between people. Yeah. Did Steven teabag anyone? I could see it. I, I don't think so. <laughs> I uh, don't think so. <laughs> with what you tested... Do you think Alpha 2 is still on track for quarter 3? With yes. in your opinions. Yes. Absolutely. Good to know. I have to remember it's an alpha. It's very much yeah. going to be an alpha. Well, and that's yeah. the, the issue too is like even as many times as Stephen tells us and as many times as we remind ourselves this, people I feel like have way too high of expectations of what Alpha 2 is going to be at times. And like even myself, like sometimes I get worked up and be like, oh, we're going to do this and this, but like then I got to bring myself back and be like, well, I probably can do that eventually, but at the start of Alpha 2, it's going to be, you know, very, min I wouldn't say minimal, but like it's going to, it's not even going to be a fraction of what Ashes of Creation is meant to be. Yeah. 
Honestly, um, I guess I can base my answer more solidly off of these tests, but for everybody who's ever been like, oh, I don't know, I don't think Alpha 2 is going to come out on time, uh, da, da, da. all I could ever say was, well, Steven keeps reiterating that, you know, they're on track. And now that like NDA is re released, at least for the Node Wars, I, it's in a very polished enough state where things are running well. They're worried, like they're testing those types of things, making sure that they're running well. And um, it feels, again, like in alpha, it feels like a test. Um, I mean, I've, I've tested a lot of games that were in worse shape than this when I was doing um, different testing with uh, like PlayStation games. And um, I mean, to the point that they at least have a very full world and everything. And some I of the mean, games I played was like um, just placeholder images to be like your um, cutscenes or something like that with like an AI voice reading over what will be eventually a cutscene. <laughs> so, you know.